The centre's mandate is to create economic growth in Manitoba through the development and transfer of technologies to industry as well as being the catalyst to create new business in Manitoba. My name is Sean McKay, I'm the Executive Director of the Composites Innovation Centre. The centre was started by industry, there was a number of composite manufacturers they got together in Manitoba early in the early 2000s and decided that they wanted to set up a composites cluster. Our objective is really to create economic wealth for the composites manufacturing industry in Manitoba. And we do that through doing two things. One is to uh, develop and transfer materials and technologies to the industry to help them grow. And the second is to be a catalyst for uh, expanding existing industry or bringing new industry into the province. Predominantly we're building the business through success. We've started off running a few projects with, with clients. Now we have at least 50 projects on the go at each point in time. We're looking not only to specific project by project activities but more growing networks. We've got one in aerospace, one in biomaterials, we're now looking at one in um, ground transportation. The bioproducts industry is really in its infancy and what we, we, we've had to do as an organisation is step back from just commercialising products and materials but getting back into the developing of those, of those products and really developing the industry. Innovation to me means identifying and creating new ideas and then the implementation of those new ideas using innovative uh, techniques. I've been involved in the composites industry for many years and I believe that the, especially the growth and interest by industry in composites is only going to improve and therefore increase the, uh, the number of businesses in Manitoba. Manitoba is great to do business in. It's predominantly because we've got a fairly small population and it's very easy to work both with the clients and also engage with some of the senior government bureaucrats and elected politicians. And by doing that, it's quite easy to create collaborative networks to be able to move ideas forward and really put them into action as opposed to uh, just discussing them.